I'm one of the Michael Jordan is the GOAT people. So if you're not understandable, but you're wrong. Michael Jordan's credentials, accolades, awards all speak for themselves, but there are parts of his game that are vastly overlooked by sports media, fans, and analysts. While Jordan absolutely took a lot of shots and had the ball in his hands, a lot, ranking fifth all time in ball possession, he also was an extremely efficient player, with him being a top three efficient player of all time, respectively. So it's a wonder why many question his basketball acumen beyond scoring. Some say he couldn't pass, or moreover, didn't pass. There's some that say he could defend, but that is just pure ignorance. So we're gonna move on from that. While it's not common for anyone to call Jordan's game underrated, there's one aspect of his game that I feel is very underrated and very overlooked. We're going to discuss that today and give some context to it and our topic today is Mike's passing ability. But first, if you enjoy NBA breakdowns and analysis, please hit the like button like the GOAT used to hit buzzer beaters. Also, if you enjoy podcasts, and we all do, please check out our other channel, the GOAT Cast Podcast with myself and Big Nige as we discuss NBA topics past, present, and even future. Thank you all, and back to the content. Shooting guards, which is what Michael Jordan was, are usually tasked with averaging around two to five assists per game. As the name of their position states, they were mostly utilized for scoring. So normally, they would have a small amount of assists per game. When you look at who averaged the most assists per game as a shooting guard, that accolade goes to James Harden, who in this day and age has transitioned into more of a point guard. So let's take a look at MJ's ability to pass and what he did in his time on the court. Michael Jordan's passing ability is often overshadowed by his scoring prowess. However, a close look at his statistics and gameplay reveals that he was indeed an excellent passer who consistently created scoring opportunities for his teammates. Jordan's passing skills were a crucial aspect of his game, contributing significantly to his team's success and showcasing his versatility as a player. Statistically, Jordan's passing prowess is evident in his career averages. Over his 15 season career, he averaged 5.3 assists per game, with his highest assist average coming in the 1988-1989 season at 8 assists per game. These numbers demonstrate that Jordan was not only a prolific scorer, but also a capable playmaker who could distribute the ball effectively to his teammates. He even often say that Jordan became more of a passer when he got older or more seasoned, but this shows that even early in his career, he was poised to pass and trust his teammates. One of the key reasons behind Jordan's passing success was his basketball IQ and court vision. He had a deep understanding of the game and could read defenses exceptionally well. But Jordan's ability to anticipate plays, recognize passing lanes, and make quick decisions with the ball allowed him to create scoring opportunities for his teammates. His court vision enabled him to see the entire floor and find open teammates even in crowded or chaotic situations. Additionally, Jordan's passing versatility was a standout feature of his game. He could deliver a wide range of passes, including bounce passes, alley-oops, and skip passes, with precision and accuracy. This versatility made him a dynamic playmaker who could adapt his passing style to fit the needs of the offense and create high percentage scoring chances for his team. In terms of specific teammates that Jordan often passed to consistently, Several stand out. During his time with the Chicago Bulls, Jordan developed strong chemistry with players like, of course, Scottie Pippen, Horace Grant, and Bill Cartwright. Pippen, in particular, benefited greatly from Jordan's passing skills. As the two formed a formidable duo, known for their ability to complement each other on the court, Jordan's ability to find Pippen in transition or in half-court sets resulted in numerous easy baskets for the Bulls. Additionally, Jordan had a knack for setting up his teammates for three-pointers, utilizing his passing skills to create open looks from beyond the arc. Players like John Paxson and Steve Kerr benefited from Jordan's ability to draw defenders and kick the ball out to open shooters. Jordan's passing accuracy in these situations often led to crucial points for the Bulls, especially in key moments of playoff games. Furthermore, late in his career, Jordan's passing acumen extended to his time with the Washington Wizards. 
Despite being in his late 30s and dealing with injuries, Jordan continued to showcase his passing skills and create opportunities for his teammates. Players like Rip Hamilton and Jerry Stackhouse benefited from Jordan's veteran leadership and playmaking ability, as he often set them up for scoring chances and helped facilitate the offense. Michael Jordan's passing excellence was reflected in his statistics, basketball IQ, court vision, passing versatility, and ability to consistently create scoring opportunities for his teammates. His passing skills were instrumental in his team's success, and he developed strong connections with key teammates who benefited from his playmaking ability. While Jordan's scoring ability rightfully garners a lot of attention, his passing contributions should not be overlooked. But what do you think? Was Michael Jordan a bad passer or just not a passer at all, like some media analysts try to make you think? Or was he a lot more sound in his passing than we think? Let me know in the comment section. Also, if you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe. Thank you all for viewing and be back soon with more content.